Well, how do we introduce our covers? Here's a drill where no tilling covers in. There's a high boy cedar, which we have one that we're using. This is, this is a, no go ahead. So you see the nozzles? See how they drop down? That's yeah. for standing corn. Standing corn. You can go through 14 foot tall corn and blow a cover crop in. Ours is 90 foot long. That's 36 rows of the clip. Seed comes out at about 60 pounds of pressure. Do you see, yeah. folks, how big modern agriculture is changing? It's changing. It's slow, but it's changing. We tried helicopters. They just didn't work. You know? Uh, this is airplanes. It's fun. Spend a lot of money. About 60% successful. That's why we went with a high boy cedar. You know, there he is. Next round, round, he, flames were coming out of him because he crashed, but that's the way it goes. You know? But uh, those are things that happen. But here's the kind of seedings we can get. You know? There they are. There's the soybeans cut. Look at the rye coming up. You know? We're going to go to big blends. We've done this now for seven years. We can change organic readings if we have 16,000 pounds of green biomass or dead biomass at planting, one percentage point a year. In three years, we've taken farms from a half a percent of organic matter to three. To three. No, wait, say it again. Three. Three percent organic matter in three years, one percent a year, which means we increased the water holding capacity four times of that soil. And see, the nice thing about it is that Dave lives in a cooler climate, it can happen quicker. Over here, it's going to be a little, little slower because the microbes are feeding all the time. Right. But we're still building huge amounts of organic matter that we thought we could never do, and we're beating our forests. Because when the Europeans entered here, the forests were 3 to 4%. We have fields that are 5 or 6% because of the covers. Uh, this is a 10-way blend. I won't name them all, but this is sun hemp. That's the cow pea. Uh, that's pearl millet. Down underneath here is radishes, hairy veg, crimson clover. This is 22 days after planting. You know. Just, you know, the reason we put the sunflowers in three years ago, we thought they were pretty. You know. Landowners loved it. Now they fight, you know, when are you going to have sunflowers in our rotation? You know. We had two elderly landlords come. She says, my tenant won't do that. I said, yes, ma'am, I understand. I'll do that if I can rent the farm. We rent the farm. You know. Uh, here it is in October. Instead of me, that should be black cattle, blue cattle, whatever color cattle you like. Not me. Because look at all we're missing out on. If we took half of that, if we took two foot of that, and put a manure pie, a urine pie, and a cow pie touching each other, we'd jumpstart our systems by double what we're doing today. You know, there's the buckwheat, you know. We do a lot of trial and error. Here's a blend right here. Then here's another blend. Then here's another blend. We plant corn across those four blends. We allow the yield monitor in the combine to tell us which one of those blends are most profitable. You know, that's technology for today. You know, all combines have yield monitors now. There's no excuse for not wanting to try things. You know, there's a high nitrogen blend. Just imagine. Senior pictures. 38 different seniors come to the farm to get their senior picture taken out of our field. Two senior citizens groups stop with busloads of women to pick sunflowers to take home. This is uh, Harry Vetch and some others. And weeds. You know, we do get some weeds. That's foxtail in there. That's a grass. That's going to help me. You know, this is a high brassica mix. What we're doing here is trying to break down a lot of phosphorus is in the soil. So rather than put other things in, we're taking, taking the brassicas, trying to pull the phosphorus down. You know. They, go, they were winter well, you know. Cow peas. Pearl millet. Oh, I love this one. Grandkids. Got six of them. They love to come to the farm. They come Friday afternoon after school. We put six of these, two sunflowers, a red ribbon, go to the farmer's market, seven bucks a piece, 200 bunches later. Grandkids went home very happy. Grandpa didn't see no money. <laughs> I don't know what happened. You know, just another legume. This is Archer Lettuce Blend. This is 15 different things. This stuff is 14 and a half foot tall. 
38,000 pounds of biomass. 14 ton of hay per acre. You know? I remember when I got that phone call, he says, well, how am I gonna, he calls me, he says, well, how am I gonna plant into that? I said, David, just let it winter kill. <laughs> Look at that, that was a huge amount of biomass. You know, just can't believe it. 